Hi everyone, my name is Natalie. Today is the 1st of October and I wanted to start a reading vlog for Victober. Victober is starting out for me in a slightly more hectic week, but because it is a paper week, uh, it also means that I have more freedom to read than I usually do. Uh, it is more stressful, but I have more reading time, uh, if that makes sense. Uh, so hopefully I can use Victober as a time to, to relax and to wind down after the, the school related work that I do. I am planning in this reading vlog to show you what I'm reading and also show you a bit of my October um, and sort of related things. Um, but I wanted to show you my yarn. So uh, alongside uh, Victober, I am hosting a knit and read along uh, called Knit and Listen. This is the one that I've chosen. Uh, it's called Nini Alpaca and it is a Norwegian um, alpaca a yarn. I think it's 100%. Yes, it is. And it is in the color ochre rusty orange and I thought that it would be a, a nice color to have as a keyboard, uh sweater. So that is the, the sweater uh, pattern that I'm going to be knitting for Knit and Listen is called Airy by, uh, is designed by Isabella Kramer. Today is Wednesday, the 2nd of October. I started listening to Adam Bede uh, in the evening yesterday and started doing my swatch. Adam Bede is the story of a small town and all of the various folk there. It's set in the late uh, 18th century, uh, so it's a historical fiction novel from George Eliot's point of view. It's talking about all of the various characters who live in the town and specifically something happens in the beginning of this book that uh, there's a uh, female preacher um, from the, what is it called, Methodist, um, and so a lot of the town is sort of buzzing about the fact that there's a woman preaching uh, and also the, the kind of preaching that she does, people obviously have opinions about. It really reminds me of the TV show that I'm currently watching as well, uh, which is A Law Christ to Candleford. Uh, which is also set in the Victorian era and I love it so much. I've been watching it since early September, I want to say, or mid-September. And I'm now at season three and it's so good. And I also started this morning The Turn of the Screw by Henry James. Um, and I've only just started this. I have not made much progress into it yet. Today is Thursday, the 3rd of October. The first day of October, I started listening to Adam Bede in the evening um, and listened to two chapters while making a swatch. Uh, I am fa fairly new to swatching actually, even though I've been knitting for a long time, I don't tend to make swatches because I'm lazy like that. Uh, so this time I actually decided to swatch it correctly. Uh, it uh, is the right gauge and everything, so I think uh, there's a good chance that this uh, sweater will actually end up in the right correct size um and uh, aside from the actual swatch this is all i've actually started doing um on the sweater i'll link the pattern in the uh, in the description below as far as adam bead goes uh i am actually really enjoying this the the main character adam bead is a carpenter and he grows up in a family that um, at least the, the father is an alcoholic and is um, a bit of a no good person and you see that more in the, the third and fourth chapter um, and at the end of the fourth chapter something happens and I am really in interested to see where this goes. I feel like I'm already um, invested in Adam Bede's uh, fate uh, which is a good sign for me. I, I didn't expect to, to be uh, engage with this book as quickly as I am. Aside from that, with my Victoria reading, I have started reading The Turn of the Screw by Henry James, uh, which is a ghost story. There's a really wealthy man who gets uh, responsibility for his niece and nephew after his brother dies, 
and uh, in order to deal with the children that the, he, do, he doesn't want to deal with them himself so he hires a governess um, and she goes there and realizes that there's something off there uh, and yeah so I, I'm getting good vibes from this so far so I'm interested to see where it goes I might as well show you the other knitting project that I'm also doing but that has nothing to do with Miss and Listen it's just my, my normal um project i'm doing a cardigan can you tell can you tell it's a, it's a cardigan i decided to get a green um sort of woody woody green uh for autumn because i have nothing in this color i think in my wardrobe i don't i don't think i have anything green uh or if i do it's a minor thing it's the alpaca uh yarn by sandness so this uh the one that i'm knitting for knit and listen is the mini alpaca and this is uh, the DK version, I think, because I am super sensitive to wool. I have avoided knitting with wool for a long time, and now I'm trying to find wools that I can actually handle with my super sensitive skin. Uh, so I have got a few like merino wools and um, alpaca to to see if I can find anything that that uh, I won't be bothered about. Uh, so hopefully uh, these are going to be fine. Hi everyone, today is Friday the 4th of October and we are almost done with the first like work week of October, although I have a paper to write and that means that I will have to work the same amount <laughs> over the weekend. So in general, I haven't been reading that much uh, this week and it's paper, paper week or exam week for me. So I guess it's not that surprising really. And so far I have kept up my reading pace with Adam Bede. I have read two chapters every day, uh, I think, yeah. So I will continue to do the same thing. One thing though that I find especially funny about this is that there's a lot of mention already of knitting specifically and obviously we have chosen this book for Knit and Listen which just seems so apt for the the frequent mention of um, the women knitting and one thing that they often mention is that they are still knitting while standing up uh, they're walking around or they're standing up and, and furiously knitting and I just feel like what kind of like masterful technique is that and it must have been so tiring because uh, the with uh, I don't really know how long a history circular needles have but with straight needles to have an entire project hanging on it, it's so heavy. If, if that is actually straight needles, then it's even more remarkable. So uh, I'm enjoying, um, I'm enjoying that. And then uh, I am reading *The Turn of the Screw* by Henry James, and this is basically my main read for the week. I haven't read this as quickly as uh, might be expected because it's a very short book. It's really, really cold outside, and of course, when it is <laughs> this cold. The dog is the slowest he can be looking for hair poop. Hi everyone, so today is a Saturday the what is the date today? Saturday the 5th of October. Uh, as you will have seen, I read this by candlelight yesterday evening, uh, especially because this is a ghost story um, and we have actually seen a ghost now. Um, it just was perfect for the candlelight, uh, to read by candlelight challenge. Even though I had three candles going, it was still quite, still quite difficult for me to see enough to read for a long period of time. Uh, so I, I think I ended up just reading about two chapters. Uh, as I said, uh, we are now at the point where a ghost has actually appeared. Uh, there's nothing in this book that really 100% is drawing me in, but I am enjoying the, the spooky atmosphere in it. And then uh, I'm still reading Adam Bede, two chapters a day. The way that George Eliot writes this, there's also a little bit of her sort of talking to you as a reader so saying now we're gonna move on to this place and now uh, we leave them here to, to continue what they're doing and move on to a new place which is something that I actually really like in, in writing in general and something I've talked about in relation to Peter Pan recently uh, so yeah so the audiobook is going good I'm listening to the George Georgina Sutton 
I think is her name, if I've not said that before. But the, the sweater has been a little bit of a challenge, uh, so I have now finally joined uh, the sweater in the round. Uh, and so, yeah, uh, so the, the pattern is a little bit strange in the setup and just sort of figuring out exactly where I was supposed to start the row and things like that. So I had a little bit of, of, um, of a confusing part getting started on, on joining in, in the round. But now I've done one row all over the sweater and done the first row of, of the actual cable patterns. Hi everyone, today is the 6th of October, it's a Sunday, and I feel like I'm definitely looking more tired uh, as the week has progressed. The paper is due tomorrow, which is nice because although I still have a lot of things to do today in terms of the, the paper, it's going to be so nice to finally have that behind me. And I am planning to later in the day go for a, a, a walk in the woods just to sort of wind down. Um, I feel like I need a little bit of fresh air. Finally, I've made it to the halfway mark of the turn of the screw. I don't think I will be reading the aspirin papers that is also included in this, just because even though this is a ghost story and it's supposed to be really haunted and spooky, it doesn't feel very thrilling to me for some reason. Quite unrealistic. It just feels sort of like uh, the ghost appears and the people involved in the story just take it as fact. Uh, they don't really seem to have a lot of internal uh, sort of confusion about it. They just accept that the person there has to be a ghost and go on, go off in a panic. And it just seems a little bit unrealistic to me that the reaction to it, it's just a bit too much. And it feels kind of like with Northing Rabbi, with um, the main character in that sort of imagining all of these things and being overly dramatic in her imagination. That's sort of the the reality of this book, but I will definitely be finishing it and I, I'm just gonna go on reading it in the pace that I've been reading it. And finally, I am at the point with the airy sweater I, where I feel like I got it, even though I've not actually made it very far into the sweater. So you can tell that, that it's joined in the round and this is, let's see if I can show you, this is the cable start to the front and um, I feel like I'm starting to get the, the gist of this pattern. Uh, I think I mentioned earlier that I'm also knitting a cardigan, a green cardigan that I started in the, I think in the, around the end of September. And I really want to work on it because I want to be able to use it this autumn and winter. So I wanted to start another audiobook specifically for um, the green cardigan. And I actually decided to finally give Charles Dickens a go. So this was a, a spontaneous a pick for my October because I didn't include this in the TBR. And the main reason for that is because I've had such a problem in reading Charles Dickens that I didn't want to feel stuck in having put one of his books on the list and having to actually read it if I didn't feel like it. I decided to give it a try and so far I am, uh, I've read three chapters. Uh, I'm currently listening to the fourth and I am actually really enjoying it. It's a lot bleaker than I was expecting. Um, it's about this boy named Pip who is uh, growing up with his 20 year old, 20 year older sister and her husband. And the sister is kind of a bully and treats both her husband and her um, brother uh, horrendously. And I, I think it's just about Pip's uh, coming of age, I'm, I'm guessing. But fingers crossed that I continue to feel as pulled into the story as I'm currently doing with this. Uh, if I don't uh, make any other updates with my actual face, then I will just say that uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching this uh, first weekly vlog of my Victober. Uh, let me know if you are participating in Victober and how your first week of Victober has gone. Uh, I would love to know what you're reading, uh, what you've been doing in terms of Victober related activities aside from reading. And uh, yeah, I think that's all I have to say really. So I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will talk to you soon.